Cool. So we've got the controller there. Got six outputs going to a. There's one of the octos. There's the other octo underneath that wiring there. Obviously six MOSFETs. There's a second power pack. That's for the low rail. It's getting warm actually. Yeah. Okay, so you've got the three. Here we go. One, two, three output greens. Go down to the motor. There's the motor. Three inputs. And you will not be able to see it, obviously, but it is obviously spinning pretty fast. Okay. So we've got one supply rail there, which is coming from the battery, 12 volt battery, to the supply there, which is also supplying that board. Okay. The other supply, which is here, which is actually running at the moment at. You can't see it, can you? It's terrible, that. Yeah, oh well, whatever. But it says 6 volts, that's 6 volts. I actually had it working at 3, yeah. 3 volts, there you go, 3 volts, still spinning, see? In fact, it stops things from getting warmed up if it's on 3 volts. You see, and we've got the supply, two supply lines going into there and there, and they supply the triax and the motor. This supplies the drivers, the two driver chips. So we have, so I'm going to show you how it is, we have the pick here. Oh, no, this is the wrong one, sorry. Let me just get the right one. Okay. Okay, solid state control, that's the one. So we've got FET. So we've got the pick here driving the octos on one rail. Share the ground, so you've got a negative rail here which is powered from the outputs of the octos to the FET which then powers the motor. Pick. Connections through to the octos. There's one gang of three, so four actually. The other one there, which is driving the FET. The FET are on the low, su low supply line, so they go negative. And the octos are on the high supply line, so they're positive going. So all the gates are powered positive, no matter which ones they are. Okay, slight modification, three of those resistors, the, these ones, the high resistors, are actually connected. There, get to source. Okay, and now you will see exactly how fast it goes. Let me just put that on there, and then you'll be able to see it. Let's just put it back up to 6 volts, and it makes it easier to run it. Get that on. And, uh, look at that. Okay, look at that go. Hmm? I'm going to hurt my hand, I know I am. I'm only just managing to hold on to the motor. As you can see, it's spinning quite wildly. There we go. If I put it down like that, there it goes. Because <laughs> it's too fast for it. The software is just a simple... Oops, simple BLD sequence. Which is there, as you can see. Da -da -da -da. And it's actually that sequence there just running it basically very fast and we build into it the dead zones between the switchovers so that the sequence is actually a 12 step sequence rather than a 6 step so you have a, an off period between each one ta da I'll turn that back down to 3 so unfortunately the wiring isn't up for it Oop. there you go and you should be able to hear it There you go. That's going somewhere. Isn't it? You might be able to hear that. <laughs>